Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenosa Human, and welcome back to our Western Empire Rebels campaign. And you can see there, the Alamenai have put us under siege. And uh, as I started saying that, I wasn't expecting this as well. But yes, of course, Appius Rex is standing here on the Po River, ready to uh, draw in anyone foolish enough to take him on. And that seems to be just what's going on here. So we have Sigus Vultus Catalina himself, obviously. Uh, pagan, but doubt about the gods. Ah, join our side, sir. You have doubt about them when you go to hell. But perhaps the Lord will will give mercy to you. Anyway, we'll. Uh, I think we can win this one fairly easily. They don't look like they're particularly elite troops here. A lot of peasants. Not much in the way of archer fire. I say that there's actually three units there and some bucellari. So, yeah, they're uh, they're we're fairly evenly matched actually on that front. But. They should be coming towards us. We'll hopefully catch them a nice and, yeah, unready. So, let's into here. This is a pretty big battle for us because having already taken that one army on the bridge over here to the west, I think this one will really open up our way towards Rome. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get into battle. Pretty much the standard plan at the start of the battle here. We're going to get our Palatina into the side here with our committed tenses in behind. Three units in a little U-shape here. Archers all at the front. Shots in already. Well done, chaps. You are very quick. Limitane stand on the cliff face there to block any crossing of the river. Protect our archers, of course. Tons of cavalry as well. Honestly, they're not doing an awful lot other than just, um, well, uh, stand there. They exist. That's pretty much where we stand with them. These archers can take out these ones. They're pretty much already slaughtered. I think you, sir, can aim at these ones. That will work for me. You hit the Bucellari, fine. So I'll be shooting those guys down nice and early. Obviously, we've got javelins on ready to throw at all times. And we can hopefully get them dealt with. Alright, so it looks like they're... Yeah, the rest of their missiles are coming forward. Largely, we'll have them taken out before they cause us any problems. So we'll continue to shoot them down. I'm pretty confident we can hold the bridge. As for the rest, well, we've got the cavalry over here. The one light cav that can cross the river. They're going to go and cross the river once they commit themselves. But until then, we're going to hold our ground. So you don't want to give away our plans. So, 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 so. These archers over here, they can get taken out. Um, just need to hold uh, fire on these guys. Make sure we wipe them out. They've done almost nothing to us. Way too much time setting up. It's good. Unusual for them to have waited this long. Maybe if they had a uh, complete dominance with the missile fire, maybe they would. But, yeah, a bit strange. I'm just going to tell them to stop, just in case they start running forward and follow him. But no, they're going to continue firing. Right, well, we'll keep shooting them down, and we'll see and wait for their move. They're coming for us now. Right, fire arrows, please, sirs. And can you aim at something like this here? Their second or so unit back. Fire arrows are going to come in. Don't worry about shooting down those peasants. Going for fire arrows, of course, just to help with the morale breaks. You guys, try and shoot some of these down, uh, the Foderati in particular. But I won't mind getting a couple of my cav over here as well. It's probably a good time for all of this cav to get across the river. Lovely. You guys head over there. That'll work for me. Archers, you shoot fire into their non-shield sides. That works in my favour very much indeed. They're still fighting here, but they're not going to last that long. Lots of javelins coming in. And, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of death on the bridge, I imagine, for these chaps. The general's right at the back, and if I'm honest, it normally works best for them if he hangs back a little bit. Um, but, yeah, they do want to send in their best unit first, so they actually want to stand... At this point, though, we can just shoot them right in their sides. So that's, in fact, what I'm going to do with these two units. I'll leave these guys to go off fire. Um, are they fighting in the water? They're just swimming past each other. Are they actually fighting in the water? Is that a thing which happens? I don't know. If it is, I, I feel like we're winning it. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Doggy paddle against the horses. Right, well, our horses apparently are getting uh, swept up by their peasants, which is an interesting predicament to be stuck in. I don't recall seeing that one before. Horses, just get yourself over here, just to make sure our archers don't get clipped in any way, shape or form. They have seemingly 
pushed through the auxilia here. Quite a lot uh, of damage happening here. So better get Commit is in. Another unit just to make sure that we... Uh, yeah, they've routed the peasants in the water, which is fun. Uh, corpses floating down the stream. I feel like, uh, yeah, on that particular side, things are going very, very well. Right, you guys, get yourselves over here. You need to come and, yeah, re-enter the battle. These guys, you should also... Uh, oh, you're out of ammo. Interesting. Well, you come over here and you come and act as auxiliary, please. Just really back up the numbers. It kind of keeps our men happy. Who's routing? Palatina down to four. Wow, they lasted pretty darn well, didn't they? Um, okay, where are we at this point? Infantry's coming in. These Limitane need to start pressing in from over here. Get more in as we get the opportunity. Peasants are over here. I think, if I'm honest, sir, without getting yourself killed, you should probably come and help take out these chaps over here. I would say come and attack these guys, but I don't want to actually drown in the process. Uh, General, do not drown yourself. I know what you're like. Yes, exactly. Right, I won't send him into battle. Okay, they are... Oh, we're across the water now. We are across the water. Unfortunately, some Palatina back there. So I'm just going to have to dance around for a little bit. Mostly they're broken. They're mostly broken at this point. Right, these guys, apparently they want, they're desperate to take on this particular chap. General, get on top of him. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, our cav on the other side can mop them up at this point. Things are looking very good indeed. Don't know what the general's doing at this stage, but I reckon we're in a good place. Well done, sir. Please make sure you get this general over here. He needs to be mopped up. There we go. He's in the middle of our horses right now. Bet he ran straight through him. I'm guessing so anyway. That might actually be the general right there. We just gotta keep chasing him down. Um, the rest of my cav, apart from you guys, just get across the river. I just need to hope that that, uh, that those units can chase them down. Because at the moment, the general's getting away, which is quite irritating. No, not only is he getting away, but he's managed to. <laughs> the Palatina have got in the way of the cav. They're not gonna break. That's so annoying. He's got away. Damn it. Well, maybe he can have his Christian conversion now. Perhaps that is what is meant to happen. All infantry in on the Palatina, who still haven't broken. And Federati, they can go down to a cavalry charge, I suppose. Bit of a flanking on the Palatina. We'll at last break them, of course. All is fine over here. And we'll get those Federati. That is all that really remains. This battle is over. Weirdly, we didn't kill the general. It's very unusual for that to happen. Particularly on the bridge battle. Sometimes they fled, flee through you and they somehow get away. But yeah, that was a particularly odd way to escape. But yeah, there was just so many numbers back there. I couldn't um, couldn't seem to get on top of him. Uh, sad that, sad that my cavalry all got caught up. A few fire arrows coming in to finish off these horses. But in general, yeah, their army has completely been destroyed here. Good start to the day, albeit we've now got the Alemanni to take on. Not that I'm bothered by that. It seems a bit of a odd attack from them. We'll have to see what their army is momentarily because I don't really know what that army looks like. But... With 96% of this force gone, only the general really getting away. I think we can call it a pretty darn victorious start to the episode here. So Appius Rex has got himself another great victory to be remembered by. And with that, a glorious death. No, no, there were no glorious deaths. Well, there actually were, but uh, no glorious death for Appius here. The army heads back to Rome. More head over to the bridge and more head over from the Dalmatian coast and Illyria. Interesting indeed. Now we should the Vandals here. Who are our friends? <laughs> oh, Alamani. Oh, the Alamani. You've perhaps made a foolish, foolish choice here. It's mostly generals, which is quite fun. Uh, we're going to be taking that town off you for starting this war. I am uh, yeah, very intrigued by that myself. Alamani waits with us. And Buddy and the Huns have a ceasefire. Now, because this is around the city, presumably... It's going to pull these guys in, I would guess. Council of Carthage, here we go. Blah, 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 Christian Church, all to do with all of the blah, 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 blah. That's great, but we don't have Carthage yet. At least some of the Empire are. Uh, the Vandals have arrived. Yes, they have. Reinforcements have arrived, which is magnificent. That, uh, blah, blah, loyalist revolt. Oh, yes, that also happened. Um, back to us. Very nice indeed. They've been thrown out. 
I thought it was going to talk about this because actually Colonia Agrippina has flipped, but Summer Brave Air has flipped back as well. Got a big army to take on, but what have we got in here? Just peasants, because of course we destroyed the rest of the uh, infrastructure. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay, uh, we're going to send you to help us out in this battle, and we are naturally going to head over here as well. What have they built in the meantime? I think absolutely nothing. Don't blame them. It was always likely to uh, go south, that particular one. All right, well, a few troops are retrained over here in Augusta Trevorum. Ah, oh, yes, of course, the the general got himself killed by, uh, yeah, by the pagans, which is a bit unfortunate for him now, wasn't it? Indeed it was. So, with this ready to be, um, well, smashed up, I, I don't know how we're going to hold on to it, because... Unless we're the one who sack it ourselves, I don't see how the public order sorts itself out. Um, there's no governance, that's fine, we can deal with that. Paganism's the main thing, 75%. Low tax rate, fine, still zero, but I guess once we've got it garrisoned again, we should be absolutely fine by the time the conversion happens, because it is converting to us quickly now. I'm sure the Vandal's gone, that certainly makes a bit of a difference. Uh, is that causing problems over here right now? I imagine it probably is. Yep. Yep. All of the Alamani and the uh, Vandals causing huge problems for the old conversion right here. Let me get that church sorted out pretty quickly. 75%. That is ridiculous strength in their favour. Absolutely crazy. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Right, well, we need to sort that out. That'll be good fun. Let's just get reacquaint ourselves with where we are in the Empire, though, because we started on a bit of a dramatic one there. So, get yourselves... Yeah, no need for peasants, then, I suppose, but just a lower tax rate. I don't really like to lower the tax rates anymore. don't have any money as it is. Right, fleets. Fleet of two boats. Do I even need two boats? I probably don't, you know, but... Um, I could possibly do a bit further up north, so I won't get rid of it to send it in that direction. Oh, yes, of course. We were heading over here to take on their army, weren't we? Yes, indeed we were. So, if they want to come and take us on, that would be marvellous. Over here in Dimity, another spy was killed. Oh, well, at least we've got some fair guys on the area. We know there's a bit of, uh, a bit of force around about that area. Over here in Carthage, they're very experienced after all the rebels that they have endlessly crushed. That's fine by me. And over in France, well, we're just playing the Flipperoonie game over here. Because, yeah, last time, this was ours, that was theirs. This was theirs, but then we made it ours. Now the Anamano are going to make it there. You know what? Let's just go and kill them. Let's go and kill them. Um, yes, of course, just to re refigure out what was going done here. Of course, we had Rome throwing their armies at us. 100% chance. 55%. Ooh. It's a bit low, isn't it? They don't seem to be flipping, though, in Italy, it must be said. They are holding on, by and large. What have we got here? 80%. And he keeps on rebuilding that temple, doesn't he? He does indeed. He does indeed. We're going to blow up the temple. Actually, can we assassinate him? 14%. Not worth it, really. 22 for you. Anyone in here? 22. No. I swear there was a better chance a few turns back, but oh well. We'll get rid of the temple once more. Keep causing them lots of problems. He actually missed. Utter fool. Utter fool. Well, you know what? Apis Rex is fine sitting around here. We'll get a bit of merging. Nothing too crucial, but we did lose a bit there. It took a while to get the brakes in on this occasion, so... Um, got to bear that in mind. Right, over to Augusta Trevorum then. Hopefully our allies are going to join us in battle. Yes, yes, indeed they are. We've got ourselves six generals of the Vandals. To take on the four generals of the Alamenai over here. The Gunian Lancers, they are half decent. Yeah, we re I say half decent. They're very, very decent. We've got to pay, pay uh, close attention to those. But we're in the city. We can sally forth. We're going to do very little, I think. We'll let our friends take them on. Let's see how this goes. Well, there's not an awful lot to my tactics here. Other than, you know, hope that my random shots can do something to all of their generals. So that's indeed what we'll be doing flaming shots on these guys. Let's follow it. Oh, I changed their targets so they went all uh, piddly at me. Um, okay, well we're going to have a little shot at these chaps. That will be fun indeed, but hopefully they'll just go and take on our vandal friends. Woohoo! That was terrible. That one might work. Who knows? Lucky shots! Oh, that was really unlucky. <laughs> so unlucky. No, they're running away! 
Oh, I really wanted the Vandals to slaughter them. So disappointing, but apparently they are just that terrifying. Bit of practice for the homage there. That is that is a real letdown, it must be said. Um, but nice to have a moment to fight with them, even if it was literally a, a matter of they are there. Why have they retreated over here? They've retreated around here past their allies. Just strange. Very strange indeed. All right, then. Well, the Saxons going to come and take some of Breva, are they? No one, apparently no one can hold it. That's just what happens on this. Basically, whenever anyone rebels on this, the faction, they rebel to like, you know, the rebel faction or back to the Empire. And yet they still have no loyalty to the Empire or the rebels. It's very bizarre. It doesn't really make very much sense. But I do have a new general. Titus Avidius is over here. Um... Interesting chap, frankly. He's he's fine. He's got a mix of things. Nothing particularly for management or influence, but uh, perfectly good for in the, being in the battle. He's got bloody and in the pink, which is always nice to have. Commander, gatebreaker, draftsman, yeah. So he's got some decent little things there. Just nothing that yeah, equally makes you blown away when you look at the stats. So, right, where are we standing with all this? Because at some point I do actually need to do something with this army. I would say they've got by the looks of the forces here, one more poke at me before I read to start taking advantage. So, what I'm going to do... What am I going to do? I, can I get that to flip? I reckon I should be able to. Come on. 75% is still not really enough, is it? Doesn't look like it. Right, well, we'll just move back up towards Ravenna with that little spy there. It is really annoying. You can't get a good eye on it without lots and lots of spies. Alas. Um, Berbers, what are you doing over here? Ridiculous, lads. Whatever, we'll put one of you in, must say, just to make sure that nothing stupid happens. But, yeah, we should probably go and take those guys out. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, I have to do that at some stage. Ah, yes, of course. We've got the other battle up here. All of the battles today. Uh, Augustus Asselio, you are nothing of interest to put at all, apart from obviously being Christian, which is a prerequisite. Tonius Quirinius over here, he is a stern, heartless pagan, but he's damn good looking. So we better go take him out, he sounds dangerous if I'm honest with you. Mostly peasants, he's got a few mercenaries and the odd battered unit here or there who he's desperately recruited in the meantime. We shouldn't have any problems, let's have a bit of fun with... Um, the AI controlling this chat, that could be great. If he dies, he dies, not the end of the world. Let's get into battle. Just busy squaring up to them at the moment. A few of them huh, just squaring up to them right now. A few of them hiding in the trees back there. I've actually got some of my cav hiding back here. Along with where the reinforcements are coming, so they probably will be expecting an attack from over there. Which is, uh, they just didn't get the memo about that particular surprise element of the attack. Fine, 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 fine. So... Let's move up a little bit further. Make it a run at this point, lads, because I very much need you to start giving them a poke. I reckon then, if my cav's over here, what we need to start doing is grabbing all of our lovely support cav and just take them well out to that flank straight away. Archer's going to get some shots in. If, to be honest, lads, if you can just shoot their archers, that will be the main thing, to be honest. Yeah, just take them out, stop them from doing the damage to us. And on the whole, I don't really know what their peasants are going to do, but my uh, my generals are going to come over and take them out. We'll just see what happens from that point onwards. Um, their main force, that well, I say main force, it's not really anything, is it? But if those guys uh, come forward to my infantry, I don't suspect there'll be a problem at all. So, over here, all of my cav into their cav. Charge on in, and that means our peasants will start flanking them. To be honest, they don't know they're charging in at this point, which means, to be honest, I'm probably just going to leave. Yeah, actually, no. Let's just move the whole force forward. Let's just try and get us around very slightly, because we want a bit of an angle. That'll work. That will work indeed. Our guys, our calf, please get yourselves out of the big pile. There comes our general for extra support. He is routed them. Well done, sir. Well done, indeedy. Lovely stuff. Always oh, just, he's wrapping them up before we've even got started. Oh, this is what the cavalry does. It's just beautiful here. They are running away, as is their bodyguard. No, 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 no. 
You are going to die, sir. That is how this battle goes. Yep. Get on top of him. He's actually the one back here. So all my cav, all of you, in on this general at this point. I know most of you are actually back behind the line, or at least some of you are. Um, yeah, to be honest, <laughs> as as standard with the AI support on this battle, on these battles, uh, yeah, they've just gone straight to uh, to get themselves killed, which works because we have such a massive number advantage on this particular occasion. So our general for experience is clearly going to be able to chop this guy down without too much fuss. So what we need to do is make sure he isn't going to get away. Uh, they're actually trying to attack us with their auxiliary, which could be problematic if we don't get support here quickly enough. Ah, uh, here's some of my cav to come and help us out. That's good. But I need a bit more. Oh, my cav. Yeah, that's my general. That is my general. Perfect. Good stuff. He's in big trouble at this point. Heroic death, no! My good sir. You weren't supposed to die. And he's gone. Ah. Uh, yeah, those summations are mean, 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 mean killing machines. And at this point, we're going to have to get our little bit of revenge. Don't worry about all of those guys. Just get the general at this point. Uh, let's get around the back of him and into there. Good work. Right, let's take him out because he was not a bad chap. And I did not appreciate his death, but I suppose at least we've got a successor in whoever this bloke is. Sir Jeffrey of Christianity or something. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And down to the Sarmatians, who so brutally slaughtered. Oh, Dalmatius Trebilius. He just got married recently as well. I was doing a... He's trying to give him a eulogy. Shush, narrator man. Oh, sad, sad times. He had four experience. I thought he'd hold out better than that. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just too many of them, I guess. Too many of them. And with that, that is their army completely gone, really. The... Peasants have gotten away, as you might well expect, but yeah, there's not much more to do at this point apart from mop up what's here. That's a bit of a bit of a bad result, to be honest. Really shouldn't have lost anything. But they he just did the classic AI support thing of charging and it just just when that I started running everyone as well. Um, in the end, that didn't really do us any much good, and that is victory there. A few kills for them, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a key death among them. But I suppose it's been a while since we've had a bit of a bit of a heroic death in battle. And we are Dalmatius Trebidius. Ah, oh, tied away a true Roman should, but it's a bit disappointing, all things considered. Right. Um Secundus Scant Trust and Testy. Yeah, he will be. He's a bit angry these days. His wife is above reproach though. Lovely, lovely lady. He hates the pagan ways. Maybe it's just the stronger Christian who gets to survive. Uh, sad, sad, sad times indeed. Was he the one who was just letting Watch Towers down? I think he, I think he went a bit mad during his time out there and forgot how to fight. Oh well, that is not a problem. You, sir, then, into Samar Bolivar. I would probably suggest actually you should get out. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to hold for us. 5%. How much can we do this if we get up to daily games? 35. Wow. Really not having it, is it? It still needs to grow. Well, we've got ourselves a fairly sizable force there. The peasants don't gain the experience, which is a shame. We do have ourselves an army over here to go and deal with them. And, of course, we do have a force over here. Now, money's a bit tight, but things are certainly going well on the whole. So, have a little scout around. Make sure there's no unfinished business for the end turn, but I'll catch you in the end turn when I'm sure something stupid will happen. Ah, stupidity number one. It looks like the Berber's going to take us on then. We've got ourselves those Hillmen. Ah, yes, this is, of course, that force we looked at last time. Good gold Malikum over here. Christian chap, but unfortunately, you attacked us and we do not have any forgiveness in our bones. So, we'll take out this force. That should hopefully clear the way for Dimidi, because if we can take out these guys separately... We'll be absolutely fine. Be aware of their cav, though. They're very powerful cav. We're lacking in ours, so we're going to have to keep a tight formation and make sure that we don't do anything foolish. The infantry will melt, but uh, yeah, we know from last time that Berber Lancer can take out a competitor's troop in one hit. So let us be very careful with that. Into battle we go. Very interesting little battlefield over here. I've got myself a huge rock right in front of where I started, which means I can get myself 
a very handy defence of a flank here. Especially with their cavalry advantage, that is very much going to work in my favour. So, with one flank blocked... Yeah, with one flank blocked, they're going to have to face me fairly straight on. Which means I can try and protect my flank with the lovely Foderati over here. So, archers, not in range yet, but once they hit that ridge, they will be. We've actually got ourselves a bit of a hill as well. I like this very much, very much indeed. We'll see what they want to do. I think I'm in a good position here to take them out. It's a glorious, glorious day then as we wait for the Berbers to take us on. This is, uh, well, we're very much in their territory, it should be said. I'm not sure if it actually is summer or winter right now. I'm going to guess they're attacking in summer. You will notice barbarians tend to attack in winter. And indeed, some of these factions tend to attack in summer. It makes sense. It really boosts their advantages. They are indeed sending those camels around the flank. But that means we can get ourselves, yeah, the spearmen in to their flank. Lovely work, guys. Get those javelins in. And General, uh, my cav, get yourselves around the flank. Get yourselves around the side. Prevent that little counter charge that is coming. No, I said run and prevent the counter charge. Lovely stuff. Right, the camels have fled. We've kept our position tight here. And that is their Berber lances not charging in at full pelt. Good news indeed. Good news indeed. Jimothy, I'm trying to record. Go away. And that is the cavalry storming down the flank. Oh, they've been ripped to shreds. Magnificent stuff. Lovely, lovely work. We're going to charge them down. You, sir, get after the Desert Chieftain. Make sure he does not escape alive. And that was surprisingly simple in many ways. But yeah, take advantage of a good geographical position. Learning a bit from last time. That makes sense to me. Right, we've charged him down. Good, good news there. He has fallen. That means, General, you can try and take these guys out. And that's the rest. Berber lances, armoured camel. We're not going to catch the lances. Go and get the camels. Take out those camels. Get us some lovely, lovely lunch, sir. Um, yeah, there's, no, there's too much else out here. So, yeah, a few camels for breakfast. And we'll be on our way further south towards Dimity. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Thank you. I don't know where you are in the King Arthur series. We need you for the sword and the stone. But, uh, although by the time I'm recording that, might have changed. I don't know! But yes, where have you been all of my life? What a magnificent geographical feature. Right, finish off what's left of the Hillman. And yeah, this very much is looking like a good day for us. Clear victory then. 22 kills by them. Almost nothing. Probably just from that initial charge into this unit over here. Well done, lads. The spearmen got in. We learnt from last time. We learnt the power of their cav and we dealt with it. Okay, marvellous stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go for the next showdown. Uh, we've got not only a double-sided bridge battle once again for Aphius Rex, but we've got a double-sided bridge battle with, uh, yeah, three forces. So um, quite a lot to take out. Julianus Flavius. You, sir, weak-chinned pagan, unlucky punisher. We're not on a gate, we're on a bridge, you fool. He's only 16. Wow, an interesting chap at this particular age. Yeah, we're going to take him out. He'll be nice and easy to snipe right behind us when the battle starts. Um, is he actually the one attacking? No, that would be Captain Verano, who I assume is this one here. He seems to be the one facing us, so yes, I would assume that's the case. So actually, no, he's going to be reinforcing them, so I can't snipe him, unfortunately. Good plan, chaps, good plan. Yeah, the reinforcements don't look like they're going to be enough. We'll see, though, because our forces are a lot weaker than they were previously. We need some uh, reinfigured infantry. But to be honest, Medellanum is just there gaping. Gaping ready to be taken at this point. So, uh, this is, yep, the third and probably the final battle of the Poe Bridge. Let's get in. It's a bit of an interesting one, actually, because they've got their main force over here with those reinforcements, or that, just that general one, the Bucellari, in behind. We've also got a lot of archers, but uh, infantry, yeah, bit battered here. We've got five units at full strength, or near enough full strength, so yeah, we're going to have to think carefully about how we use them. I think we probably want most of them actually at the front here, just to make sure we've got that secured. Um, yeah, I'm going to suggest three... Three Limitani, is that going to be the best plan? It might have to be the plan, you know. Um, Palatina over here, just 37 of them left remaining, which is unfortunate. I did do emerging before the battle, so I'm glad I did that before the end term. I think I'm going to want these three. 
to just charge forward there, but are the Mitani going to be enough? I don't know. Three experience on them. They might be okay. You know what? I'm going to put Skatiari as the central one and you as the backup. So we'll have those four over there. That leaves us with these guys for the flanking force. Um, I can't remember which side they'd be on. Where were they? Um, wait. Let's think of the map, Thomas. Yes, they'd be from over that way. Cool. So something like that, but that honestly isn't going to be particularly good. We'll just have to put up a force and hope they can be. <laughs> oh, there we go. Those eight will be absolutely fine. As the archers, they're obviously going to be in their usual positions then over here um, on either side of the bridge. And hopefully they'll just be able to turn around when they need to. Few of them got injured in their earlier battles, but nothing too bad. We're still in a very good point with cavalry, so what we might be able to do is largely focus our infantry on this battle because to be fair yeah good point i'm gonna need gonna need some infantry to support um yeah i'm gonna need some infantry to support the archers aren't i it's a good point so i think my cav might have to try and take out a lot of this by themselves that might be what happens here okay well i'm gonna send some of these over to support and honestly i'm just going to leave a bare bone strip along the back just to maybe intercept and we'll see what we can use when the time comes for that okay uh start the battle the we'll just get things up in a to save yeah i think what i'll do is my usual kind of plan up here there actually aren't a lot of arches so i possibly don't actually need to put them on loose we can just bring them up to their usual kind of position along the front here and I reckon we'll be okay defending like that, especially with just these guys stretched across the front here. Right, I'm going to get set up and we'll head into battle. One major advantage we have over the reinforcements coming in behind us are their lack of cav. We should be able to get behind them with our cav and deal them a heavy blow before too long. I'm going to leave my main general, obviously. I need to keep good old Pius over there. And the rest of you... We will use you in this force just to front up against them. Otherwise, I'm quite happy for you to stay where you are. I don't think actually I've got the infantry. I'm javelin throw. Oh, God, no. Better do that. So, Arch is getting some lovely shots in. They do not have very much in the way of missiles, do they? No. There are some archers over here, so let's just make sure we clear them out before anything else happens. But in general, well, I think we're fairly comfortable. They are making their way across the river now and across the bridge, of course, as well. It means that archers are going to do their standard U2 switch to fire, head into those committed tenses. Uh, as for you guys, don't... Yeah, you know what, you just finish off the archers. That's fine by me. You're actually quite a small unit. And you shoot into the general unit back there. That'd be magnificent. Some firing to the side. Some javelins coming in. I don't think they're going to last very long, to be honest. They are lacking a proper general. And that really tells in these kind of battles. They are not running him. But I think we'll find that they should be. Because I don't think the rest of their army is going to hold uh, for as long as it takes for us to kill them. Yep, he's already gone. Don't you waste your ammo. No. Don't waste your ammo. Please hold back. We need you just to maintain yours for a little bit later, if indeed possible. Right, well, let them flee for the moment. I'm not particularly bothered about chasing them down. Just want to make sure that we are fine to deal with the next guy over here. But to be honest, I think in general, we can probably start moving most of them back at this point. You guys come over here. Turn yourselves around. Oh, yeah, you need to take them on. These guys don't really get what their job is, do they? <laughs> take them down. All right, they've turned around. Maybe get yourselves back in positions, lads. Maybe that was a little bit presumptuous and premature. Yeah, definitely, definitely was. These guys, however, you can probably come and join this particular force at this stage. That'll be absolutely fine. General is coming in. All my missiles shooting non-fire at these guys. Yep, that's the general gone once more. These guys don't understand what defence means, does it? It just means hold position, you fools. Now, they are getting closer, but they're not really close enough for me to worry about just yet. So, how are we doing over here? Cav, I think the general just needs to get in 
as my archers are starting to get close to the battle and I don't really want that to be the case. So he's coming in, generals over here, what are you doing? They really don't understand how to uh, take on someone who's just in front of the river do they? No they don't. On the plus side we are now taking on their general with ours which is probably the best position to be in. So yeah, you guys get yourselves over there. To be honest, we might as well cross the bridge. Might as well cross the bridge. It's going to be easier for us. Yeah, let's, let's just get everyone over the bridge. Everyone, run over the bridge. As ever, the swimmers decide they have to swim because why wouldn't they go for a swim in the middle of this battle? Why wouldn't they just, you know, walk over? Well, of course, they are utter fools and they decide they're going to swim. It does actually tire them out, by the way, and they might actually drown if they were too tired. Who knows, eh? Who knows? Right, all infantry, just line yourself up there. All missiles, line yourself up here. Get on it nice and pronto, everybody. And all the cav are just mopping up. That's lovely work. Yeah, they can just make sure these are gone. Now, this force... Uh, fancy the they fancy the chances enough where they can actually be bothered to f to actually still engage in this battle. Works for me though. I'm quite happy to get myself this side of the river. Makes things a lot better from my perspective. So you bring yourselves back over here. You take them out, and we'll just get ourselves set then for part two. We're now set up on the other side of the bridge. Then we are getting our infantry in front of the archers as ever we would. And it looks like we are starting to shoot them down. Their archers are in range of ours. So I'm going to focus on them, of course. But yeah, there's still a decent amount of troops to take out here. They do indeed have... Oh, no, they're just a Federati general. Yeah, the one general got away, didn't he? Because he was, yeah, very much too leggy for us. Or too leggy would suggest the opposite, Thomas. What are you saying? Anyway, the other guy got away. A bit of a shame. He's a young fool. He will eventually die like the rest of them. So, 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 so. Let's get these two. The, the, where, where are my archers? You're my archers. You're not my archers. I am really bad at clicking on archers right now. Fire arrows, go. Into the melee then. They are shaken, but yacht's not yet broken, which is, okay, that's fine. We will beat them in good time. My senses are out of javelins. These guys, these archers can continue to shoot into there. These archers are out completely. So you might as well pull yourself back, please, sir. Just be numbers in a safe position. Everyone else is still actually shooting. Not a problem. I'm pretty certain that the uh, interception lads over here will do their job. Protect my archers. They haven't broken, but they are surely not far away from it at this point. Um, I'm not going to send my Federati across the river. I don't think there's going to be any point. They'll break too soon. We'll catch them all. What I would like to do then is start getting my extra infantry units in to come and help. That's the archers, Thomas. Right, get the generals in. Generals in! Let's just finish this battle. Pile in! Give them a good pile on and I'm sure they'll break before, before very long. Yeah, there we go. Breaky, breaky. Pokey, pokey. Stabby, stabby. And shooty, shooty. Right, all of you guys... Just run yourselves back here and prevent us from shooting ourselves. Oh, cavalry, get yourself across the river. Hunt down any of their fleeing troops. A load of peasants in the river. To be honest, archers, um, you two, if you want to shoot these guys, you're welcome to. Yeah, you just shoot down the archers in the river. For some reason, they decide they want to swim again. Well done, lads. Go and drown, why don't you? Yeah, they're all running away. Fire arrows coming into the icy, icy river. Not sure if that uh, makes them any more effective or not. I mean, fire is super effective against ice, so maybe it is. Maybe it is, but it's time for us to mop up. And I think, I think, obvious. <laughs> it is time for you to just simply stand there and chop down all of the peasants. There he goes. There goes the general toppled, toppled like a modern day statue. And with that, we will march on, take on the rest of these peasants. This guy might learn one day how to actually kill the peasants. Come on! Let Oppius show you how to do it, maybe. There we go, you see. It's just a slicey, slicey, stabby, stabby. It's not too different from uh, from last time. And the slightly bizarre title for that. Right, that is the battle done. One particular fool wants to go for another swim. What are you doing? One peasant. Uh... See, look, they've got themselves drowned. 
I told you this would happen. They keep on trying to cross like this. They eventually all drown. Well done, sir. Are you exhausted? Of course you might have been swimming for a frozen river for it. And he's gone. <laughs> the timing there was spectacular. Fine. Well, we lost all of our foolish like Cav, who loved to go for a swim. Their three experience was not enough to prevent that particular death. Ah, well, at least, at least we uh, have ourselves a strong position. There's a new army just squaring up against us. That is just one particular fool. Christian Shrine has been attacked. Or at least we'll have ourselves the chapel built at the end of the turn. That, yeah, is very much what we want to do. So, we've got good old Agricola over here. Marvellous stuff. Or you can come and help us out. Do we know what this army is? Oh, yes, of course, they are the annoying fools that we met up with last time. Franks are under attack. Uh, I don't think they're going to lose, so I wouldn't worry about that. I don't know where the Vandals have gone, but our friends have disappeared, which is altogether very disappointing, if I'm perfectly honest. Right, I'm going to take this force away from some more Breaver, because honestly, I think it's a bit of a... Is it a lost cause? It looks like, like a lost cause at the moment, doesn't it? Um, let's just see. If I can repair these things, we're on daily games... Uh, entertainment is giving us a bit of a boost. Tax bonus is giving us a boost. Devastation is a bit of a problem of income. Unrest is a huge problem. This is capital I guess I could fix. Paganism is the main thing, of course, but we're still not doing enough to convert that around. Still a mass of characters in the region. I'm not sure. I guess that means the Vandals are still hanging around in this forest somewhere. And frankly, that is now causing me too many problems. Um... You know what, I'm not going to bother repairing those because we're going to, yeah. Well, actually, no, mm, I will repair, but that's going to get fixed anyway because it's about to get done up. Fine, we'll leave that. Berbers in the Western Empire have a ceasefire probably because the Berbers are about to be destroyed. We could get ourselves we could get ourselves a watchtower on the way. Are we, how are we looking? It's still quite a lot of turns, actually. So, I'll tell you what, we'll get ourselves a watchtower around here. Not, perhaps not optimal. Not at the end of our land, but that doesn't really matter because this will be our land very soon anyway. We'll see how that goes in time. Tinky over here is fine. There is just a diplomat there. I was a bit confused for a moment. But all is good. We have a tiny amount of money. I'm very confused about that. That is a frankly bizarre situation. I forgot to kill the Berbers again. Uh, right, I reckon what I've got to do is the following. I need to take my army... Minus the generals for a moment. Over here. Um, let's just take them away from the bridge. What are you? It's just the general. Okay, I can take them over here. And we can crack our way in. Main thing, of course, is the gate. Yes, we've got the gate open for us. Perfect news indeed. So, we should be able to take out this guy in a little snipe-off. And then head into Mediolanum. Let it not be said that Appius Pius is not a family man. Here he is on a marvellous day out with his son Maximanus over here. And they're just going to have a nice trip out to, well, you know, the, the fields of northern Italy. Beautiful, beautiful place. And what's more, there's a lovely juicy Roman general to get killed while he's here. So both of you, attack! And death will come to those who wait. And this guy waited too long, two battles, and with that he will be chopped up. Come on, there he goes. Well done. I would like to say, I'd like to say that was Maximilian himself, but I honestly have no idea who it was, where it was. But all I know is victory is ours. Are we using big maces or is those spears? Very badly defined spears. I don't know what's happening there. Three kills, not a lot. That, and that is a good little battle for us. And once again, a great family man, a holy man, Appius Rex, heads over there. And naturally, he'll march straight, straight into Mediolanum, which will be simple enough, obviously, with just a general. That comes the extermination of our great Roman lambs. Uh, lambs? A great Roman lambs. Lambs for the slaughter. We are the Christian lambs, of course. And with that, we'll destroy that. Good thing I, my assassin didn't do that job, because now we get to gain some money from it. Woohoo! So, uh, what do we want? What do we want? We've obviously re damaged the amphitheatre, which is a bit of a shame. Or maybe the rebellion did. Christian Shrine, of course. Uh, retrain. You know what? Just a merge job will work, I think. Did I see Legion first cohort commit to tenses? 
Yes, yes I did. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I want in my army. Albeit, I would like some extra Palatina first. Always good to have a couple spearmen. I do like those. They're pretty darn solid. So, chapel built. Resistance is futile. The good ironic crosses of full of pagans lined up along the streets. That's how we like to do things. We give them the holiest of deaths, sort of, or slash probably the most gruesome. They're pretty, it's a pretty bad way to go, I would suggest. Um, okay, so over here, a bit of a bit of a lost cause. I say that we might just put a hold on. This should improve actually with a turn or two. So we might get lucky and manage to hold on to that. Certainly would help our economy if we have all these towns. Oh, on the note of economy, we have money again. We have money. Yes, spend it instantly on troops. Um, what do I actually want to do with them? I don't know. Uh, I definitely could do with a unit or two, in fairness. Let's get one or two units there. Probably, though, have some major town upgrades I need to do that I've been not been able to do, I imagine. So, yours is underway. Very long overdue. And the rest of you... No, you've got yourself some mines. You've got yourself a dockyard. Tingy over here. Nowhere near ready to upgrade, so... Nothing too much to worry about there, actually. I wouldn't mind the roads to get uh, Chap back towards Tingy, because I'm not going to worry about Dimity, frankly. It's um, fairly pointless as they go. I might just hold on to a bit of the money in case we need the upgrade. I suspect there's somewhere I'm forgetting about. This definitely does... Um, or it, I think it did before something bad happened. Somewhere needs an upgrade. I don't know anymore. Anyway, it was probably Colonia Agrippina. Nonetheless, I'll probably save a bit of my money here. Get the Baths, get a few of the little cheap things that I need to get done across my towns. But I don't even have a trader in my capital. This is absolutely, absolutely ludicrous, and I still won't because I'm going to the roads first. So let's not worry about any of that. Six thousand monies in the bank. You, sir, you are having a nice trip over here. How long have you been here, Sextus? <laughs> I imagine you've been here a long time. Um, yeah, come, come back to Salamantica and have a nice. Have a nice Portuguese lunch. That'll be absolutely marvellous. Some octopus rice. Everyone loves a bit of octopus rice. So, uh, communal farming, highways. No, no. You know what? Communal farming. That will do, won't it, ladies and gentlemen? That will do. So, Appius. Appius has charged his way into northern Italy now. Um, disloyal. He's actively disloyal. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if that means he's going to be bribed back to their faction, which can't happen, by the way. Uh, but we'll see how that one goes in time. Now, of course, we're getting the Christian church built in several places, aren't we, just to make sure that's all sorted. Uh, allies, we've actually fought alongside the Vandals, which is grand. Money is slightly improving, so I can possibly afford the tiniest bit of investment here or there. I will get some Scutiari because I need desperately some troops over here in Augusta Tivororum. Um, yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm just going to have to hold on for the rest of my monies for now. Uh, right, I'm going to snipe off the Berbers over there because they're annoying me. Otherwise, I think I think we're good just to end our turn for now. Doesn't look like too much is going on. Ooh, exciting. Sam, uh, he says exciting just as the rioting appears over here. The Christian chapel has been smashed up and lots of people are screaming and killed. Sounds like the world today. Uh, Samra Breva then is up to 75. So I was saying good news because it was on to blue there. That is good news indeed. We'll just merge whatever the problem was there and we'll move on. Right, so I'm just going to continue pouncing on with that. Oh good, the Vandals have left which means the conversion is happening quickly. So that's what's happened on the end turn there. The Vandals have left and we now have the opportunity to convert everything nice and quickly. Good news indeed. Right, race is held in Augusta Chevrorum. Don't need that anymore. We are a little bit happier. And in time, we had to settle things down. Let's get one more Scutiari. Mostly used up my money at this point. Um, now, over here, we've got the Vandals. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. If we can just get them into battle. This could be very good indeed. Right, my spies are wandering around. Let's get them back into the city. That's cool. I'm just going to put my army here. If they want to attack me, they might well be tempted. And that's going to pull the vandals in. 
I enjoy that. The Nardisha Dignitarum. Okay, list of every government job in the Empire. Honestly, most of them have um, have been killed at this point in the West anyway. So, yeah, enjoyed that. Um, Pre-Consul's Palace repaired. Good. Just continue repairing that desperately. We seem to have actually got this place vaguely under control, which is very exciting indeed. So we'll leave Augustulus Asselio, uh, who led the uprising, to head in there. Ignore the fact that that... <laughs> The fire flag appeared the second he went in. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. He's a Christian, so that should help with uh, the conversion if we just keep him in there over time. This chap, though, we might well want to get him moving. Colonia Agrippina over there is looking a bit tempting. And whilst we have a bit of merging and a bit of retraining we potentially want to do, we could at least move them over in this direction. Get them, yeah, sort of get the army pulled together. What have we got over here, actually? We actually managed to have infantry, so we don't want the Scutiari. Let's get the Sarmatian, actually. Ooh, we can get hippos! Well, they're not hippos, they're Equite Secretari. But um, we can get some horse archers. I am so, so getting myself for horse archer army, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to happen. There's normally a cav army in these campaigns, but no, horse archer army. That's the best of the lot. Go and kill. My spies and assassins are terrible in this particular campaign. Considering we are the rebels, I would have thought we'd be a little bit better at this kind of thing. Apparently not. Apparently not. So, that's down to 45. Wow, normally the third spy doesn't do a huge amount. So, I'm actually going to send this guy over here and see what's going on. So, Dalmatian Illyricum is theirs. Pannonia is still Eastern Empire, and Nericum is Roman as well. Okay, so they've taken that back from the rebels. Carnuntum is theirs once again. Interesting, but Salona and Carnuntum are quite a few turns away from Ravenna and indeed Rome. They won't be able to reinforce it too quickly, which uh, very much works in my favour. Right, let's go have a little look at the Berber situation. Victor X has about 8,000 turns running through the desert here. Um, okay, Lacentius. Oh, brilliant. But he is handsome, so that's just getting worse and worse, that trait. Um, we'll see how that goes over time. Probably not in a good direction, but we'll never know. Oh, my days, Cordoba's finally going to have Imperial Palace in like two turns. Magnificent news. And yes, over in Tarakanassis, we can go and get ourselves a watchtower. Sextus can finally get back home. He's been having such a long trip, I forgot about him. We run out of money, all of the above, but he's laid us a beautiful line of watchtowers around the coast. I guess there's probably one more to go down over in that direction, but it doesn't really matter. I just like to have the vision, damn it. Arable friends are having a good bit of fun over there, somewhere near Valencia. I guess Valencia's on the river there. And Terraco, lovely, 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 looking after itself. We've got ourselves a little guard of rebels who keep us happy. When, uh, when we're worried about things. Right, um, on the moving on from the random unnecessary conversation there, we should probably go and take up this Berber force as well. I did snipe off that little one. Looks like we have a little bit more work to do on that front, so we better go deal with those guys. I think maybe that's a good place to leave it, actually. So we'll go and take these guys out on, in the field. Doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult, but I should probably bring... Yeah, bring a little bit of cab support. So we'll get ourselves into here. Take him on. He doesn't want to do it. Uh, the infantry can't go any further, so we'll have to do it that way anyway. Shah Bullet Mountain Men. Ooh, they look like they should be okay, but they are terrible. Um, Berber Axeman. And, yeah, the general himself, who is Christian. But not particularly good. Untouched by Fear is decent. Actually, yeah, Untouched... Session. I was going to say not that good. Doesn't look too good from the stats up there, but actually the traits. Got some nice little traits here. Plus two morale. Mountain men might not completely grumble. Anyway, best to get him. We'll probably uh, finish up with a little stabbing of the Berbers who, for some reason, have turned up in northern, in southern France. Time to just get the javelin straight in on these chaps. We'll hold off on the last set of jet. Oh no, we're throwing them in anyway. In come the javelins, and they are going to take some nice knocks before we actually get into battle. No, 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 no. You don't charge, you throw both your pelums, thank you very much. I don't want to worry about this later on. We're going to throw them all in, slaughter plenty of them, and now you can charge, sirs. Lovely stuff, right? Get the cavalry out to the flank, then we'll take them out. We'll just smash straight into their infantry. 
there's actually no worry we can take them on 1v1 without any problems whatsoever. General, you get yourself around the back. That will mean that their general won't be too happy when we hit him with our cavalry. Right, you hit him over on that flank. Get over here. That is their general on that side. Yeah, in comes the flanking maneuver. So that's their general pinned with ours. Unless we are really unlucky, we should be able to win that. And the rest of it is just down to a chunking match at this point. Apparently, our Limitane have decided to flee. That's just ridiculous, but there we go. They are Limitane, so that's not really surprising. Apparently, our infantry has completely melted. Well done, that. Well done, chaps. Utter fools, the lot of them. Oh, well. You know what? It's fine. We'll just let them all lose massively. General, if you can just take out their general, then we'll run away and call it a victory, shall we? That might be a good plan for us. He's down to nine. We can at least take him on in good time. Our veterinarii are going to hold on. I find it a little bit ridiculous that we've actually lost an infantry battle on this particular occasion. But apparently we have all infantry then into these guys. Their general is fleeing. Don't know where he's trying to go. General, you literally had him. He was right under your nose. Oh, well, let's just charge into these guys instead. Uh, I don't think there's a lot their general can do. There we go. There's a nice charge from our general. That's the break we're looking for. And with that, that should largely be the battle. Mountain men, after I abuse them, are the only ones still fighting. Lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, I don't know if this guy is going to get away because they've obviously got nowhere to go in this particular affair. But there we go. We managed to take far more damage than we ever should do against a load of random Berber infantrymen. But there we go. At least the general can mop up, get a bit of experience from stabbing some uh, very, very lost and far from home chaps. We have 91% killed. I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine there. The general might get to live just because he didn't get killed. But he's so far from home, no boats. I would have thought the game might kill him. Uh, pff, who knows? He might well be. Guys, you were an utter disgrace. Marcellus Hortensius, I don't blame you for thinking that your infantrymen might actually be able to win. But you're fine. You're in rude health. I'm not, was he that high before? I think he was, actually. He already had good hit points. So he was always likely to be able to win the one-on-one -on -one duel there. But I'm a bit disappointed with the rest of you. Utter fools, the lot of you. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a march, is frankly, because... That'd be nice it come the next battle. Okay, looks like Northern France is starting to settle down. Samuel Abreva has got to blue kind of just about content face. Um, up in the north, Colonia Agrippina obviously flipped back as we were expecting it to, as we kind of planned for it to. But um, yeah, we've got, we've got those peasants sitting there with the Vandals behind. Do they want to give us the poker or are they going to take into account the fact that the Vandals will obviously join me in battle? I don't know, but I look forward to it. Elsewhere, we've got Saguntus Edanthius over here heading toward Augusta Truvorum just to go and see what army we can pull together. And of course, the main thing over here, the main thing, Appius Rex has taken Mediolan and Milan is ours and on to Ravenna very soon. I don't think that they're going to get an awful lot of reinforcements come at this point. He's taken on three full stacks. He's wiped them all out. He pretty much hasn't lost anything of note at all. Um, oh, apart from those horses who drown themselves in the river, but we don't talk about that. Uh, that aside, all is looking very, very good indeed. And I will join you next time when, uh, yes, looks like looks like Ravenna and Rome itself are very much, very much in our grasp. At 58 years old, Appius Rex doesn't have too much longer of his life to go and do that. So I think he's going to want to go and get a rush on now. So I will join you next time. I'm Thomas, this is Tenerst Human, and this has been our Western Empire Rebels campaign. Thank you, and goodbye. They are just throwing themselves to their deaths. Woohoo! Chunky, chunky, chunky death. Oh, that wasn't a very good charge. Oh, we're flying! There is no one near beside him. Yeah, axe in the head! Axe in the head. Yeah, beautiful.